Breaking news on alleged, alleged attempts by members of the FBI and Justice Department to interfere in the 2016 election. First Senator Dianne Feinstein just releasing 300 pages of testimony from the Fusion GPS founder, the firm that developed the widely discredited Trump dossier that was being pushed by folks inside the FBI and Justice. Also, text messages just released between FBI agent Peter Strzok and FBI lawyer Lisa Page indicating that they were systematically leaking anti-Trump material to the press. Here now is Republican Congressman Jim Jordan, House Judiciary Committee member who's been all over this story and investigating it deeply. Uh, Congressman, first of all, Glenn Simpson's testimony. Uh, yeah. Senator Feinstein, uh, on her own, releasing the testimony, some questions yeah. about whether she had the authority to do so. But the, the one thing that jumped out at Catherine Herridge and others is that in that testimony, Glenn Simpson talked about the FBI and that they had a source inside the Trump campaign. Here's what Glenn Simpson told the Senate Judiciary Committee. This was closed hearings, but it's yeah. been released. An internal Trump campaign source or a human source from inside the Trump organization reported his or her concerns to the FBI. Now, to me, what that says is that the FBI was actually spying on the Trump campaign, working in cahoots with Fusion GPS. Why would, why would they tell Christopher Steele, the FBI, that they had another source? And then Steele tells Simpson, and then Simpson testifies, oh, there was another source. That, is, that strikes me as extremely unusual. And, and, and I would agree with you, David, your conclusion. It sort of points to this idea that the FBI was systematically and strategically leaking information to undermine the Trump campaign and the Trump presidency after he's elected because you know they did some of this stuff during the transition between election day and right. inauguration as and we well just, I, 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 I just to want say, to remind, I thought the same thing I want to remind our viewers that the Democratic Party paid for the Trump dossier in large part if not entirely uh, millions of dollars from the Hillary campaign went into fusion GPS that created this this report at the FBI was pushing it almost as if it was a report from the FBI. So in a sense, the FBI was working with the Democratic National Committee to push the Trump dossier. And this is more evidence, in fact, right. that, that the FBI uh, may have even had a source inside the Trump case. I mean, this is spying on a political party on behalf why, of another political party. Why would the FBI, you know, in, in a, re relate information to Christopher Steele or whomever that they had a second source. Why would they do that? And if they gave it that information to Chris Steele, as you point out, David, he's the same guy who's getting paid by Fusion, who was paid by the law firm, who was paid by the Clinton campaign, right. and he's the author of the dossier. That is a fundamental problem. And if that all took place, which it sure looks like it did, that is not supposed to be how it works in this not country. Not at all. Well, meanwhile, uh, we talked about the FBI's involvement. Peter Strzok, who was an agent in the FBI, was actually working for the yeah. Mueller Commission. Uh, his texts with uh, his, his girlfriend, Lisa Page, have come out, and now we have a new version of those texts, one about a Wall Street Journal article in which Lisa Page says the article is out but hidden behind a paywall, so you can't yeah. read it. Peter Strzok responds, WSJ, Wall Street Journal initials. Boy, that was fast. No word from redacted. Should I find it and tell the team? It sure looks like they were leaking anti-Trump stuff yeah. to the media. Part of their, remember the other text message, one of the other text messages between Mr. Strzok and Ms. Page was we need an insurance policy. We can't run the risk that Donald Trump might actually be elected by the American people as the next president. So part of their insurance policy is not just this dossier, it's, as we, it's what we just said, systematically, strategically leaking information, planning stories, almost this self-fulfilling idea that we're going to put stories out there to val validate or validate, excuse me, and legitimize uh, certain points that we want to get out in the public yeah. that will undermine the Trump uh, Trump campaign. That's sure what it looks like they did. That's why we need the documents that Mr. Nunes, Chairman Nunes, has been after. That's why we need access to the witnesses. That's why we need the leak to stop. And that's why we also need a second special counsel, which we have called on for months now. And very quickly, I'm, I'm getting a wrap, but shouldn't we also have President Trump personally release a lot of the stuff regarding the FISA warrants against uh, possibly the Trump campaign that so far he hasn't done? Two fundamental questions. Two fundamental questions. I've asked both uh, Attorney General Sessions, I've asked Director, uh, FBI Director Ray. Did you pay Christopher Steele? Were you paying him, reimbursing him at the same time that the Clinton campaign was paying him? And was the dossier the basis for securing warrants at the FISA court? Tell us the answers to those questions. Those are fundamental questions. And if the answer is yes to either one, that is a big problem, and people need to be held accountable if, in fact, that happened. Congressman Jim Jordan, good to see you again, Congressman. You Thank bet. you very Thank much. You.